These are my top 3 devices from IPO Tools. The first one is a multi-welder. It is a DC TIG welder, MIG welder, stick welder and a plasma cutter all in one. The second one is an AC-DC TIG welder with pulse function. It is mainly a TIG device, but it's also capable of stick welding. The third one is a little more powerful MIG welder and it's also a stick welder. These are three different devices for different welding purposes and we're gonna go into detail right now. The first one is the MIG 185 CMT. It probably stands for cut, MIG and TIG and it can also stick weld. Device is normal size but it's very light. It's only 185 amps, so it's more than enough for your sheet metal work, welding steel up to 3 or 4 millimeters, but for some thicker materials it may not be the best choice. In that case you will probably go with the MIG 250. If we go inside the multi-welder, we have the wire feeder over here, wire spool holder, which is a multi-purpose spool holder, it's meant for smaller spools and the normal size, 5 kilograms. Inside we also have the polarity cable, positive for gas MIG welding and the negative for flux core gasless MIG welding. For the wire feeder we also get the different types and sizes for uh, rollers. So you get a U-shaped for uh, aluminium and V-shaped for steel wires. On the back side we get a pressure regulator and a water separator and then we also have two gas inlets one is for argon when TIG welding and you can also use it for cutting uh, with compressed air from the plasma and the other one is for MIG uh, welding gas CO2 or mixed gas on the front side we have the plasma torch connection or TIG torch connection then we have the negative and positive terminals and the signal connection for from the torches either a plasma cutter or the TIG torch and here is the euro style connector for the MIG torch when we turn on the machine we have the mode selector on the upper side of the display Right now I'm at cut, which means the plasma cutter. Here you have uh, amperage adjustment and then you also have pre-gas and post-gas, uh, which is in seconds. And then we can go to stick welding. Here you have the amperage adjustment. And then we go to manual MIG welding. Here you can select voltage or the wire speed. You also have some additional settings which are the same as in synergic mode and then we go into synergic mode. Here we have the wire and uh, gas selector, wire diameter selector, some additional settings and trigger mode. For the wire and gas we have steel wire with CO2, steel wire with the mixed gas, uh, flux core wire with no gas and then aluminium and 100% argon. Then we can select the wire diameter 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 1 mm thickness. We also can adjust other settings pre-flow gas and post-flow gas, inductance and other things. Then we have the trigger mode selector we have a 2T option, 4T option and a spot welding option, which we can set in seconds. Here are some action shots from plasma cutting. As you can see, it can easily cut 10 mm steel with no problems. And if you want more detailed videos, there is a link in description. Here are some MIG welding videos. This is MIG welding 3mm steel. And if we want to go flux core we just change the polarity. 
insert the flux core wire and we can easily flux core weld without gas. If we change the polarity back to normal and change the rollers on the wire feeder and insert the Teflon liner into the MIG torch, use 100% argon gas and then we can easily MIG weld aluminium. TIG welding mode is a DC TIG welding with high frequency which means you don't have to touch the workpiece. It is a DC TIG welder which is good for steel and stainless steel but it's not suitable for aluminium. For that you would need an AC welder. And here we have an AC DC TIG welder. This is the Ipotools Super TIG 200 DI. Like I've said, it's an AC-DC TIG welder and it also has a pulse function. On the back side you can see an on-off switch, cooling fans, gas inlet. On the front side you can see the gas outlet, the positive terminal, the, the control connection and the negative terminal. The TIG torch has a very flexible cable. It has a nice ergonomic feel. The button is very sensitive which means you don't have to press uh, with a lot of strength. And here is our main display slash control module. Here we have the ignition start mode. Either we're in high frequency mode, which means we don't have to touch the workpiece, or if we are in lift TIG mode, which means we have to touch. Here you have an option to save your welding parameters. Here you have the switch for stick welding, Pulse welding on and pulse welding off. Over here you have 2T and 4T trigger mode. Here you select the DC TIG welding or uh, AC TIG welding and you select the waveform. Advanced square, sine, soft square, triangular and then back to DC TIG welding. So here you have your main welding parameters. You click this thing to select the function and then you can adjust the settings. Downslope, end current, post flow in seconds. And then you have pre flow. Start current. Upslope. and your main welding amps. If you turn on the pulse function, you have some additional functions, which is pulse peak amps, pulse frequency in Hertz, maximum of 250 and a minimum of 0.5 peak time in percentage and base amps and then all other settings like before when we go from DC to AC TIG welding you have also some additional settings AC frequency in Hertz from AC frequency in Hertz AC balance in percentage this is the cleaning action and then you're back to previous settings. Here are some steel and stainless steel welds. Some stainless steel welds with pulse function and aluminium welding in AC TIG mode. You can watch more welding videos on my main channel, link is in description. And here is the MIG welder, it is the Ipotools MIG 250S. S probably stands for Synergic, which this device is. On the front side you have your MIG torch connection, your negative terminal, spool gun connection and positive terminal. On the back side you have cooling fans, your gas inlet for your CO2 or mixed gas.
If we go inside the welder, you have your wire feeder here. You can change the rollers for your type of wire. And then you have your spool holder, which is a multi-purpose spool holder. It's meant for the small spools, like half a kilogram, one kilogram. And you can also use five kilogram wire spools. Here you have positive and negative terminals for your polarity. Whenever you're flux core welding, you have your negative polarity. And whenever you're welding with gas, CO2 or mixed gas, you use the positive terminal. When you turn on the machine, you have the manual MIG mode where you can select 40 on and off. And then you can go to synergic options. There you can select your wire diameter and the workpiece thickness. Here are some welds on 3mm steel and 5mm steel. And some flux core welds. And also some stick welding. If you want to see more of these machines, you can watch the videos on my main channel, link is in description.